Welcome to Thermal Integration Made Easy, a series that covers everything you need to know about integrating Teledyne FLIR thermal camera modules. Today, we're going to walk through the many factors to consider when choosing a lens for your Boson thermal camera and how to choose the right focal length. There are many resources available to support integration at FLIR.com boson. Another great resource is our FAQ knowledge base and support center found at FLIR.com slash custhelp. Let's get started. There are many factors to consider when selecting a lens for your thermal camera, including how much of the scene you're trying to capture, the size of the smallest detail that you need to see, and the distance to the object. Ideally, you want to select a field of view, or FOV, where the main subject fills the majority of the scene to achieve the best possible image. But sometimes that is not possible due to camera placement or the need to cover a large area in applications such as surveillance and inspection. For a wider field of view, 50 degree or 95 degree would capture a very large outdoor scene for situational awareness where a narrow 68 degree field of view is ideal for monitoring smaller objects, seeing further, or surveying a specific region. To compare more FOVs, go to the Boson FOV comparison page linked below. The spatial resolution of a camera tells us the smallest detail of your target that can be seen by one pixel with the camera detector. As you move further away, each pixel covers a larger area of interest, and as you move closer, you're more capable of easily distinguishing objects. DRI, an acronym for Detection, Recognition, and Identification, is used to compare different imaging systems or configurations to determine how well a target can be seen. We recommend using the Johnson criteria to predict the minimum resolution or pixels on target of the critical dimension, required to achieve a 50% probability for an observer to discriminate an object. The critical dimension for the average human is about three quarters of a meter. There are three unique levels of how well a target can be seen. Detection, an object is present, requires two pixels across. Recognition, discerning the type of object, a human versus a vehicle, for example, requires six pixels across. Identification, discerning a specific object, say a military versus civilian vehicle, 12 pixels across. Detection is the minimum level for determining if an object is present. It simply means something is there. Recognizing an object is defined as seeing what type of object it is and confirming the object class. It means being able to make the distinction between a person, a car, a truck, or any other object. In order to recognize an object, it needs to be subtended by at least six pixels across its critical dimension. Identification means you're able to differentiate between two or more objects in the same class. For example, being able to confirm the type of the vehicle and the make. The critical dimension of the object in question needs to be at least 12 pixels. While these recommended standards can be used as a guideline, each application and environment will have a unique set of requirements. For long distance imaging applications, factors such as atmospheric absorption, sensitivity, and imaging waveband become very important to calculating DRI. The Boson Lens Selector tool helps you calculate which focal length would be best suited for your application. To get started, the tool can be found at clear.com LST. Once the tool makes a recommendation, our team of experts can ensure that you're equipped with the right camera for your next application. This wraps up our episode on selecting a lens for your Boson camera. If you want to see more content like this, Hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. For additional support, find more information by visiting fleer.com time or fleer.com custhelp for technical support. Thank you for watching.